Salesforce Security Simplified, a guide to authentication, authorization, object access, and record level sharing. Welcome to another video in this Steve Security Series. Salesforce is a very mature product with a wealth of capabilities for enforcing security, but it can be daunting to get your arms around that. So what we're gonna be doing in this video is I'm gonna be doing a summary across the different facets of Salesforce security as we begin future videos with additional deep dives. We're gonna be talking about authentication, which is determining who a user is, authorization, deciding what capabilities they are able to do, and we're even gonna get down into object and field level security, controlling which objects they can see and which records in those objects they can see. And this gets down even down to the field level. So we're gonna to start today with a high level summary going through those facets and then subsequent videos will be diving deeper and deeper. So starting with authentication and initial authorization, if we considered Salesforce a secure building, then this is where we're choosing whether or not to let the person in the building. We're catching them through um, a, a series of mechanisms that are keeping them outside, keeping un, un, unprovisioned people, unknown users, we're gonna keep them out. It's also knowing who we are letting in, properly identifying them and determining what they can do. So we're looking at getting access to the building. So building level security would be, if you have a browser and you're coming in, you'll be going to the authentication server, and then if you're going to the interior Salesforce, inside a primary Salesforce, then you would be going to the instance web server. You could be going to a browser and going to a Salesforce experience web page. You could be going to a browser and going into the sites page. You could be a client application and after you authenticate, hitting the APIs. You could be a client application and you could be hitting the new pub sub API on the platform event bus. So these are the two main access mechanisms, a human using a browser or a client server applic client application hitting Salesforce, authenticating and hitting the APIs. So when we look at the how do I, what dials do I turn, what settings do I change, we're gonna look at the right side of the screen. So what we're gonna have is we're gonna have App Manager. So App Manager in the connected app is where it can be part of setting up Salesforce as a sing single sign-on service provider. It can be also enabling the access for OAuth for the APIs. And these are from the connected app. You can set up additional exterior external auth providers. You could be setting up login flows, which are controlling what happens when users first log in. And for incoming emails, not indicated as an arrow, you could be setting email settings. For external access, the ex experience server and the sites, you um, also will be setting up for the, the sites page for public unauthenticated access. You'll have the experience cloud. Um, these, you'll be setting up your My Domain. And then down here, some of the key elements at the user level is setting up the profile, one profile per user, which has primary settings such as we've shown in other videos, IP, you know, IP uh, approved list, we have hours of access um, and the single sign-on authentication mechanism, password complexity. For additional, there are some access levels such to connected apps, which are at the permission set level and hence would be granted through permission set groups around connected apps. And there is the possibility of a event relay if you're echoing your platform events to let's say an AWS event relay. So to set up the access, here are your primary points from app manager, auth providers, single sign-on, experience, my domain, and user settings. These are the primary places you're gonna be going to controlling this perimeter level, building level security. Now that I've entered the building, I'm gonna start going into offices. And each office is gonna be controlled. There'll be reception and controlling access to the office. And these settings will be for elements such as what apps I have, what tabs are in those apps, what objects 
does this particular person get access to? What fields on those objects? There's then which reports they can run, which would then have those same filters at the objects and the fields and the rest of the security. When looking at data, what are the page layouts? What are the lightning pages? And if coming through an experience, what are the experience pages? So this is, I think of it as office level security. You've entered the building, you've been granted access into Salesforce, either through the primary login or through an, a community. Now the question is what offices can you go into? And this is where, and if we look on the right, you're gonna have app manager, your tabs, the lightning app builder, Report types and reports, object manager. For external access, you're gonna have the digital experiences. And then again, some of the settings are still at the profile level. Salesforce is migrating many of these level elements onto the permission sets and are granted through the permission set groups. So for this type of functionality, you're primarily, primarily gonna be focusing in on the permission sets and the permission set groups. But when there is going to be one of something per user, that's where it'll probably still gravitate to the profiles. So this is what I consider building. This is now inside. These are the particular offices you have access to. Now, as we drill in more, we're going to different mechanisms. We're gonna be talking about if I'm in an office, which files do I get to see? So I may be able to see an account object, but maybe only certain account objects or um, opportunities and only certain opportunities and so on across the different objects. So I think of those, each of those are the offices that you can get into. And then the actual files that you get access to are the records in Salesforce. So now we're getting into how do we control which files, which records does a person get to? And these are gonna be controlled by elements such as roles in the role hierarchy, public groups, org-wide defaults, OWD, sharing rules, both criteria and owner, territory, restriction, the new restriction rules, new scoping rules, there's implicit sharing, there's programmatic sharing, sharing sets, sharing groups. This is just some of the elements and where do you find these? You find these under system settings, sharing settings, that's your primary OWD and your primary criterion owner sharing rules. You have the roles, setting up the hierarchy. You can set up your public groups. You can go to the territories. You have the opportunity account and case teams. Object managers where you set up restriction rules and the, and the scoping rules. And this can also be driven by things on the user, the, the view all, modify all on the profile and, and some hidden settings, which we'll be going into, not hidden, but certain settings on the profiles and the permission sets. So when you're thinking about record level access, these are the elements in Salesforce that relate to that. Roles, groups, OWD, org wide default, sharing territory restriction rules, programmatic sharing. These are the elements you'll be dealing with when you are configuring those elements. So that's how I see the different facets of Salesforce security, granting access into the building, which is the overall perimeter, office, getting access into the offices, which would be the objects, the fields, the different tabs and pages, and then the specific file cabinet record level access. That's where you get into the record level sharing. So these different elements can be found in similar and sometimes overlapping places in Salesforce. And so as you learn the totality of security, you need to be comfortable knowing where to go. I hope this was helpful. Hope this was helpful and we've been locking it down with Salesforce. Come back again, um, same bat time, same bat channel. Come join me on Steve TechArk and subscribe and we'll keep diving deep into security. Thank you very much.